Narcissistic Hoovers are not always positive. They are not always flowers at your door, gifts, and apologies, okay? A narcissistic Hoover is any time after a discard or after you have left that narcissistic person where they come back in any way, shape, or form to take your attention. Let's talk about narcissistic Hoovers. My name is Lise Colucci, and I am here to help you understand and transform your life after toxic relationships with narcissistic people. So, the Hoover. Basically, if you're being Hoover, do not buy what they're selling. Do not take that Hoover and think it means anything other than that narcissistic person wanting your attention, wanting your supply, stealing your energy. I'm gonna give you a quick list of ways they might Hoover. Let me know in the comments if you have anything else to add to this list. Crisis or a health issue. They will contact you or have someone else contact you with a crisis or a health issue, be it a crisis for them or a crisis for someone you both know. Now this may seem innocent and it may seem like, well, of course I would respond to that, but guess what? If you're no longer friends with someone, would you reach out and give them information about a crisis? No, you wouldn't. If you needed help from someone, would you reach back to someone who you are no contact with? No, you wouldn't. They're, what they're doing is they're reaching out to you because they know it gets your attention and it forces you because you have empathy to react to it. Another Hoover technique that is used is what? We broke up? Pretending everything is just fine and like nothing happened and the discard didn't happen or you didn't actually leave them. They totally gaslight you when they're doing this and manipulate the situation to sound like you're still with them. So you may say, no, I'm not, a, I'm not able to hang out with you. I don't want to see you. I'm not going to go with you Saturday to this thing. And they'll say, okay, what time should I pick you up? Or ha ha, see you Saturday. You know, just completely dismissing everything you say and every boundary you place about seeing them or not seeing them and pretend like everything's fine. Love bombing is a really basic and obvious way that they hoover. They give you everything you've ever wanted. They will love bomb the heck out of you when they're trying to hoover you back. It doesn't mean they want you back because they've changed, okay? It means they want more of that delicious supply that you give them. A Hoover technique that can be especially painful is throwing memories at you, going down memory lane, or showing you memorabilia or little tokens or things collected along the way that remind you of the relationship with them. Pretty obvious that that is a tactic to get you to have sentimentality toward them. They will send in flying monkeys. They will send in other people to ask about you, to see how you're doing, to throw little comments at you about how the narcissist is doing and what they're doing and who they're with. See, they don't always want you to talk to them. They just want you to feel for them. When you feel for them, they know it and their ego gets an ego boost, which is supply. They can stalk your social media. They can put things on their social media that gets attention, either gets your friends to report back to you, or if you're still looking at their social media, gets your attention and gets you to feel all kinds of things. Is this all making sense? Have you had any of this happen to you? Hit the thumbs up, you guys, if this you can relate to. Sometimes they will give you gifts or come to collect things at your house that they left. So oftentimes when they discard, they'll leave very strange objects behind, often things that you could just throw away or non-important things, but clearly they're things, clearly things that belong to them. They could also, of course, leave something of value, but they leave these things on purpose so that they can come back later and get them. I see this so often when I talk to male survivors and they have female narcissists that female narcissist will leave all kinds of things scattered around his place and she will need to come collect them one by one and each time she comes to collect them a giant hoover comes with her usually in the form of love bombing one way they hoover is by giving you the words you've always wanted to hear why now they may accidentally call you right accidentally a butt dial a pocket dial sure okay 
They may call you from numbers that are not listed. Unlisted numbers, who the heck is that? Oh, could it be the narcissist? Most likely. Sometimes they just all out stalk. They will be driving by where you live or where you work, or they will show up places that they know you are, and they will keep tabs on you and watch you. Another Hoover is the reaching out on holidays or birthdays or any occasion like that where, yeah, a lot of people fear their birthdays and fear holidays because of this. They can even use a smear campaign as a Hoover. When they are smearing your name and when they're talking bad about you and saying all kinds of things to other people and getting other people to be on their side, what does it give them? It gives them attention, attention in your name. That attention gets them feeling really good about themselves and it also makes you hurt. If you're hurting, they have supply. A really terrible one, the narcissist will threaten self-harm. That is terrible because it plays on your empathy. It gets you into this excited cortisol, anxiety, adrenaline rush, right? And causes you to have to fix something. So that's just some ways a narcissist hoovers let me know what you've experienced, as I said, in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.